Howdy folks, I'm Keith Bowen. This is Hard Rock University. Kind of a classroom edition here. Well, we finally got uh, enough data with the uh, Max Water 104-133 ion exchange resin that we can start making some predictions on how it'll work with respect to extracting gold from solution. Now, one thing you have to understand is it's, it, this is an equilibrium reaction to some extent. It's, it's got a strong preference once it grabs it to keep it. But think of it as like a parking lot. If you don't have many cars trying to park, then the number of cars leaving will easily equal the number of cars coming in and you don't get any net gain. On the other hand, if you have a lot of cars coming in trying to park, then it'll fill up rapidly once you get fewer and fewer empty spaces it's harder and harder for people to find a parking place and once the parking lot is completely full you're pretty much out of luck you're not going to get your car parked so let's look and see what all this data is and uh, I'll, I'll try and explain what the parameters of this resin with our leaching solution and our ore come out to. Okay, now this graph is a little bit confusing because I'm trying to graph three parameters in two dimensions. It makes it kind of hard. So I have the percent recovery. This is how much of the gold flowing through the resin and specifically the particular stage that it gets. This is the resin loading in grams per pound grams of gold per pound of resin and so as it fills up the recovery gets worse but also down here at this end where there these are very low concentrations these are numbers because that's the third dimension the uh, concentration of gold in solution in parts per million so down here where we have that's one part per million, less than one, less than one, almost no recovery. Yeah, remember the equilibrium? It's just not going into, into the resin and sticking there. As you come up, rapidly gains the ability to uh, extract a decent percentage from the uh, solution. And these concentrations here on this blue line are what we would consider normal leaching solution concentrations. This is what we expect to get in our mill. These up here were just kind of a one-off extra concentration. So here's the actual graph and this is what we're looking at here. Even at low loading factors, very little recovery until your concentration in solution is getting around three or four somewhere in that area there. Then you're starting to get good percentage recoveries and it peaks out at a loading factor of about 10 grams per pound and then it starts dropping off again until it just hits a wall right here at between 25 and 30 grams per pound and so that tells you you don't want to try more than this loading in your resin. Now that's already, well, let's see. Twenty-five divide thirty-one. You're already at 0.8 ounces of gold per pound of resin. So that times so we got over $1,400 in gold contained in $15 of resin, or about a 100 to 1 ratio. We can easily destroy the resin to get the gold. Not a problem. On the other hand, we want to make sure we can't do low-grade reaching, but we weren't planning on it anyhow. All in all, these parameters are perfectly acceptable for what we're trying to do. So uh, that's the current state of the knowledge and uh, the next big step in terms of leaching is going to be 
experimenting how to get the gold out of the resin. So happy prospecting and keep it safe out there.